demonstration today on a couple of the sever machines, tri-tool severing machines. First one's a 572 AC, um, which stands for auto cycle, because the tool bit, once it parts through the tubing or pipe, it automatically retracts, so you can slide in your piece again. Uh, today we have the attachment on here also of an SQM. The 572 takes an SQM1 that can be facing and you can actually put a bevel bit in there also. So we'll get started. Uh, this tool bit can either leave a burr on the piece that drops away from your machine or stays in your machine. So you have options with that. Uh, then that way if you had the burr on your piece, that's on the machine, you can just push the SQM over and then take off the burr or push it back to a final cut length. Um, if you had heavier wall, you're wanting to put a little chamfer or bevel on it, you could also do that. So it uses collets. All the collets have the size range and part numbers on them. So today we're doing a two inch 065 wall you have a size range to go um, on this uh, piece of equipment from quarter all the way up to two inch. You have a sleeve in the back. It works off of a cam, so this nut just goes over there, take your tube. Put it on our cut line. You tighten up the thumb thimble until it just cams over snug. It has a bevel washer in there, so you don't want to way over tighten it because uh, you can collapse the bevel washer. But when you're camming it down, it actually helps with your ovality of the pipe. So to show the function of the auto feed, you'll see there's a white line right here as it feeds through, it hits this tripper knob on this lever and it feeds it and it'll all the way go in. When the white line is lined up with the tool bit, you cut through your whole part and it auto retracts to the OD so you can just slide in your pipe for the next cut. We take out the backlash in the cam due to it can do heavier wall. Insert our tripper. Has a Batabo motor, actually has two different gears. There's a gear knob underneath the here for high and low and a variable speed control right there. So our part drops off, that side has the burr on it uh, with that type of tooling. You could hear it auto retract. At this point I can pull back the tripper pin, feel and see if there was a burr, if I don't need to have that. If you have electro polished pipe you can run the tooling uh, really close to the outside um, just to get the whole face of the tube. And with the helical grind on the tool bit, it'll make the tool the chip so it goes outside the tube and won't go inside. And then you don't have to burr. What I do is for feed rate uh, on the knob as it's rotating, um, you can hold it and then you just let it go and slip it a little bit or turn it and then you got a light feed so it doesn't create a burst. The feed rate is adjustable 
uh, axial for zero to five thousandths. For the stainlesses and ink canals, most of the time we're running about three thousandths speed rate per trip or per revolution. So this will go, like I said, we'll do eighth inch through one inch on pipe and then it'll do the quarter inch through two inch on tube and up to uh, 125 eighth inch wall. Now we'll jump over to the larger one of this machine. This is a 576 AC. It standardly comes so it can do two inch pipe through six inch pipe, so six and five eighths OD. It can do pipe and tube. It has aluminum collets instead of the stainless steel due to weight and the size that they get up to. So you put in your collet, a sleeve, just like the smaller one. Same cam style. We're gonna run a uh, piece of three inch tube. Uh, there's an 093 wall, it's electro polished. Get our cam in, taking out the backlash, set. We're set at 3,000 per rev. Engage our tripper pin. The difference with this, besides the size range due to that, and it also can go up to 156 on the wall thickness. Um, so it has a larger uh, Milwaukee motor on it, unlike the 572 that has a Metabo drill motor. There's our drop piece. It has the burr on this side. Like I said before, we can change tooling and make it so the burr actually stays on the tube inside. So if you're cutting your length off the, the front of the machine, that's what makes you decide which one you want the burr on. Same thing, SQM2 for the larger machine. We'll kick this up. Flips out of the way, so when you slide out your new piece, that way you don't have to unbolt and bolt this on. This is an accessory to this machine. No burr on there. Uh, dimension. This has a number, right now we're running a number two tool holder. So the machine standardly comes with a number one and a two tool holder. It stays attached to the back of the machine on the pin so you don't lose it. That will get you down to the two inch diameter with the standard two tool holders. But if you chose to, you could also purchase this number three tool holder, which can get you all the way down to inch and a half pipe. 